Greetings, Sim Captains. I'm Tim from the Flight Brothers FT channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick little unboxing. I just got something uh, pretty sweet yesterday and I figured let's make a video. So as you may or may not know, uh, there are delivery services. They tend to be called geek boxes for any number of things, manly things, gaming things. I first ran across it with uh, some kids I knew who got them for gaming, but this is the flight geek box. So seeing as Father Day is uh, coming up and with COVID-19, you might not be able to get out and do a whole lot of things. Prime time for simming. And uh, if you are a flight simmer, odds are you're probably an aviation nerd like me. I've got a whole cabinet of model aircraft. I have a whole bookshelf of airplane books. Uh, if you put an airplane on it, I probably want it. So this seemed like the thing for me. I actually received this one as a gift. I do not have a subscription. We'll talk more about it in a moment, but let's get inside. So uh, this is the, the package as it um, arrived. U.S. Postal Service. Let's see what we've got in here. I will tell you, I've already peeked because I couldn't, couldn't control myself. I had to see what was inside. Uh, there we go, all right. Vertical speed coaster. It's kind of that uh, neoprene mouse pad type material. That's pretty nice. You know, I have that uh, those plastic standard six instruments for my coasters uh, by the sim computer. I'm a complete geek, I'm telling you. And the problem is they stick to my cup. So hopefully my vertical speed will, uh, will stay at zero and remain on the desk with that. All right, what do we have in here next? Cracker Jacks, the original. I gotta be honest, I think Cracker Jacks are disgusting, but there is a what's inside card. Let's see why we have Cracker Jacks. Ah, a classic American snack with caramel corn, peanuts, and a prize inside. Peanuts, airlines. All right, I see a connection. All right, what else do we have here? If you make it a plane, I'm interested. Airplane cookies. Very neat. Now, um, I did also notice, again, I peeked in here earlier. We got a recipe too. <laughs> all right, three cups of all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt, butter, everything with butter is delicious. Sugar, everything with sugar and butter is delicious. Fat and carbs. Milk, powdered sugar, refrigerate, bake. Maybe I can talk the wife into making me some sweet airplane cookies. All right. Christmas just got better, huh? All right. Oh, DVDs. Because I also have an enormous pile. You know, those uh, IITV cockpit videos and other such things. I got the Indian Military Spectacular, Bangalore, Yella, Yella Hanka. If you know how to pronounce that, please feel free to correct me. Ooh, bonus 2011 footage. Sorry, I should have shown you the picture as I was reading that. Uh, looks like, what do we have in here? Sukhoi 30, Saab Gripen, MiG 35, Typhoons, F-16s, F-18s, and nice C-17 on the cover. All right. That'll be fun. Check that out. Is that DVD or Blu-ray? I think that's a DVD. Yep, the DVD. Okay, we've got some little things here. The Thai Airlines. I'm not clear if this is just a sticker or a cutout. I've actually never had the privilege to fly Thai. But, uh, maybe when all this nonsense is over and next time I'm in Asia, we can give that one a spin. All right. Um... These are interesting. I don't think these are stickers either, but we've got some airport codes. These are the, uh, what is it, IATA, IATA? These are not the ICAOs. This is not what you put in your FMC. So we've got JFK, and I particularly like this one because uh, PHX, that's, that's home base for us. So, all right. Ooh. Now here's for the simmer. Nice, we've got some cardstock uh, plates or charts, whatever you want to call these. Bob Hope Burbank in California, as well as an approach. So we have the airport chart, and I've got an approach. This is the four stacks visual. Let's let's read. I'm sure there's a reason why we got uh, 
why we got these. It says, approach of the month. So I guess you get a monthly uh, approach in the airport. This month's approach is the four stacks visual approach into Burbank's runway 15. Over the years, Burbank serves as one of the main hubs for movie stars and celebrities like me. <laughs> all, all 2,000 of you that know we exist. All right. Oh, another DVD. This one's a little heftier. This is, might be a, a two-pack. The Birth of Flight seven-hour documentary series. So if you've already binge-watched everything on Netflix, seven hours, early aviation, post-World War I, barnstorming, aviation advancement, design, early commercial aviation, seaplane development and use. That'd be fun. Uh, jet aircraft development, post-World War II, commercial aviation, airport development, and modern aviation. Good times, good times. You know, one of my favorite things with uh, these sorts of documentaries is whether or not they're presenting information I haven't heard before. Because let's be honest, if you're an airplane geek, odds are if you watch any documentary, 99% of it you've already heard, read, or discovered before. But the cool thing is a lot of times uh, one of these might find footage you've never seen before, and that's where it gets interesting. I go through a lot of YouTube documentaries just to discover new footage of uh, old aircraft I haven't run across before. Oh, some candy. I guess, is this the movie snack? So while you're watching this and the Cracker Jacks? All right, what do we got here? The Take 5 Bar, a brilliant combination of two classic aviation snacks, peanuts, pretzels, and chocolate. What more can you ask for? Maybe we should ask for like a Pan Am snack. It would be like caviar and champagne and a cigarette or something just to make it very 1960s <laughs> so um again that was the full contents of this month's sorry i don't want to dump all the packing fuzzies on my table this month's flight geek box i'll include a picture of the full spread laid out a little nicer here uh, so let's see how do you get these lovely items how often can you get them etc all right, so where are we going to get these? It is at flightgeekbox.com. It says it's an every other month subscription box for aviation enthusiasts. Every month is different. It might include anything from aviation books, movies, collectibles, charts, tools, supplies, snacks, and much more. The first box ships within three to five days of purchase. Returning subscribers boxes ship within three to five business days of subscription payment. Interesting. Ships worldwide from the United States, and subscriptions renew automatically. It is $29.99, if I understand correctly, that's $29.99 per box? I think so. So uh, there you go. That's what you've got, the Flight Geek Box. Uh, ours, I got mine as a gift. Uh, Flight Bro Lee also got one of these as a gift. His DVD, one of his DVDs was different, the, uh, the military one. I got this, he got a slightly different one. Maybe I'll throw in the video a picture of what his his box has, so there might be some variety between these. But uh, we're not subscribers, we just got these as a little present from uh, the fine gentleman over at fselite.net, so check it out. We also make videos for them. So until next time, Sim Captains, if you're home and bored, maybe it's time for a Flight Geek Box, and if you're a uh, dad and Father's Day's coming and you don't want another tie, Maybe give your family a little tip. Till next time. Bye-bye.